Hi, I'm Lily Beasley, and today I have the pleasure of introducing Emmy Law. Emmy is sweet and genuine. She's always there to share a kind word or give a really good hug. I can actually track where Emmy's been throughout the day because she leaves these little baby Squidward drawings behind wherever she goes. I'm so lucky to have Emmy as a friend and can't wait to hear what she's going to share with us today. So with no further delay, Emmy Law. Ever since I was young, my mother would tell me this cute little saying, Emmy, you have to get all A's, okay? <laughs> You're Asian, not Bijan. <laughs> and I guess it was a way of encouraging me to do my best. And as most of you know, in many Asian cultures, there's a lot of emphasis on doing well and being successful, and the pressure to be and do better often increases as you mature. So, parents will often tell their kids to aim for the well-known, respectable jobs, such as a doctor or a lawyer. And as you can guess, my grandparents and my parents were like that. They would encourage me to aim to work in the medical field, and they had my life planned out for me. I would become a doctor, so that way, not only could I bring in the big bucks, but I could also save my family's money by diagnosing them for free. And oddly enough, my dream job is to become a pediatrician. And while people might say, Emmy, you've been conditioned your entire life to want this, I have to disagree. Well, at first I was frustrated with my parents because it felt like I had no say in my life. I realized that in the end it is my life and I get to choose where I go, one step at a time. I find myself getting stressed about the future because often I feel like I'm not good enough. And I'm blessed here to be at St. Mary's, but I think every student here knows the stress of trying to improve grades or raise our GPA. In the American high school system, there's an academic emphasis on scores and numbers, which seem to define our intellect and worth. And oftentimes, we give these numbers so much importance that it controls us to the point we worry about every single grade, every single point given. We spend hours studying and working away to achieve as close as we can to the perfect score. But I have to ask you a question. Once you're done with school, will you be happy? While grades are important, I don't think high school should only be about your academic skill or your future. High school is also a time for us to experience our present lives. We have the constant loom of the future weighing on us. But what happens now is an experience that only happens once in our life, because every day is different. Don't let your only memories of high school be about staying up late or stressing over work. Try a new sport or hobby. Even if you think you're not good enough at what you'd want to do, do it anyways, because as long as you're having fun, it doesn't matter what other people think. You don't need to be a genius at what you do to enjoy it. Plan to hang out with friends. Personally, I have slightly strict parents, so I have a slight fear of um, asking them if I can go out with friends. So uh, I'll wait until they're in a good mood before asking. But this year I realized that I have a limited time frame to make memories and grow closer to the people I love. And because next year we'll all be in different places, I'm still working on these things too. Thank you.